Hello everyone, today I'll be making a short video on the absolute basics of how to make a cinematic shot in League of Legends. And what I mean about a cinematic shot would be something like this. The first step is going to this website, which I'll have a link in my description below. Scroll down until you find how to use, which is right here. Now, before we click on the download League Director, it's actually important to make a new tab when doing so because this page we'll need to come back to in the near future. So to make sure we don't lose this page, just make a new tab and open it up there. And once you get to this page, you wanna go ahead and just click on League Director Setup.exe and let that download. Once you've installed League Director and launch it, it's gonna look something like this. From here, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the initial website that we started on and scroll down till you reach the FAQ. Once you have found the FAQ, you wanna find where it says League Director does not connect to my replay. The first part is gonna be just copying this part. And once you've copied that, then you're gonna to wanna to find your Riot Games folder. Once you have found your Riot Games folder, go ahead and open it, go to League of Legends, go to config and click on game.cfg. Once you're there, you're gonna see the first part which says general. Just go to the bottom of the general section, just push enter once and just copy and paste that enable replay API equals one. And you can go ahead and save it. And then you can close this down and launch a replay. Once you have launched your replay, your league director, which you should also have open at the same time, should look something similar to this. You're gonna have your rendering tab, your visibility tab, your timeline, keybinds, and recording. For this video, we are going to be just working with key bindings and your timeline. The first thing I would suggest doing is setting three key binds just to help speed up the process once you actually get into making your scene, which is gonna be the keyframe position, keyframe rotation, and the keyframe field of view. I'd recommend setting that just to be like nine. Once you have made your three key bindings, the position, the rotation, and the field of view, go ahead and open up your league replay. Find a location where you want to circle around your character. And then once you've found your location, go ahead on the bottom left and click on the FPS camera. Once you've selected the FPS camera, the controls are gonna be a little awkward at first, your left click is gonna change your camera view along with your eight, four, five, and six on your numpad. You use your numpad to kind of control and move around. So the first step is going to be just finding kind of your starting point. Once you've found your starting spot, you wanna push that key bindings that I had you set earlier, which is going to be, in my case, nine. Once I've done that, and you wanna make sure it's paused, like how it is for me. And then you're gonna see that if I go to the league director, in your timeline, you should have these three little diamond looking things pop up on your timeline. This is saying that at 17 seconds, you're going to have a camera position, a ro camera rotation, and a field of view just like this, and you want lead director to make sure that you're in this exact position at 17 seconds. So the next step is going to be just adjusting. This is all during pause. So to make sure it's paused, it's just to slide over a little bit. So I'm gonna move over here, and now I'm actually gonna to wanna to unpause. So I'm gonna unpause it, and I'm only gonna let it play for about maybe two-ish seconds or so. It's really up to you, but for this case, I'll do about two seconds. And now you're gonna see that if I push nine, the diamonds now have turned red. That just means that there are some diamonds overlapping. When it comes to your footage, it's not gonna make any difference. Now, if you go back to your replay, and now that we've made our second keyframe, we are going to do another move. So let's just move back about right there. 
And then we're going to play for about the same-ish seconds, so about two to three seconds. And about that, I'm gonna push nine, and you're gonna see that it makes another one. So now we have three keyframes. Now I'm gonna move over. Just move about right there. P push play. Just like that. Then I'm going to push nine. It's gonna make another keyframe. Uh, let's just move over about there or so. Play for a few seconds. Push nine. And then we'll just finish it off at the starting spot. Right about there or so. Push play, let it go for a few seconds, and then push nine for the final keyframe. Now you're gonna see that the final keyframe is actually blue. That's just because I went a little bit longer than the other keyframes, so it's not fully overlapped, so it didn't turn red. Now it's gonna be time to try it out to actually make sure it works. So how you do that is that you're going to go to your league director. Make sure that apply sequence right here is gonna be on. So make sure that's turned on. And then you're just, when I wanna go back, you can just double click on the timeline just before the first diamond or so. Once you have done that, you wanna to go to your league replay and then you just wanna click play. You're gonna see my character I'm just moving like normal. And then once it hits the diamond, it's gonna be my starting point, And then it's gonna slowly move over. This is just an example. So if you really wanna make it smooth, you're gonna to have to kinda of go slower. But we can see that our keyframes did work. We made a full 360 around our character. There are a lot of features within League Director that I did not go through. I only went through the basics of just keyframing and going around a character. If there are any questions, or if you would like to see anything else, such as a change in the skybox, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you liked the video as well and it helped you, feel free to give it a like. And if you want to see more League content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.